everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Mark the Tech Guy today bringing you another app review and the app I'll be reviewing today is called Brother in Arms. It just tells you a little story at the beginning. It's just a little movie. I'm going to skip that. So this is Brother in Arms 2 Global Front. Now you can click on continue, campaigns, multiplayer, options, and achievements. So options is reset your progress. I'm going to start you guys from the beginning here because I just started this. There's sound. Uh, control schemes, you can set them up as any way you want. Visuals. Blood on, blue effects on, achievements, multiplayer, a new game. I'm going to click on new game. I'm going to click on easy since this is my second time playing this game. So it tells you the story. I click off that. And it's got a little control pad on the screen where you can move around. It was quite a hard so you can see there's a target and if you just move your finger around the screen you can see that you can move around. Now there's the joystick. It's, it's fairly easy to maneuver. Now with your thumb on the other side you can control you know your vision and then with the other side you control where you're going. Now there's a shoot button. Now, there's an actual run button. I think I just hit something there. Good, good. Now we'll check your coordination. Sprint to that tree trunk and assume cover position behind So now you sprint to the tree trunk, drop down, Incoming Japanese patrol. and you'll see the patrol guys coming out. And once they get closer, then you, then you can shoot them. And the target automatically goes right on the enemy. So it's not that hard to aim and shoot. So this guy, you got to sneak up on him. And I just shot him. You can see the target. They're a bit too far. Take aim and look through the iron sight. Now you can look through the iron sight. And it's the cool little joystick. You got full full range here to move around the screen. You know you can fire the gun, you can sprint. So I think the developers have done a really good job with this game, with what they have. You know, the iPhone is not necessarily the best for gaming, and they've taken, you know, what they had to work with, and they've made do what they could with it. So I would recommend checking this game out, and... Uh, let me know what you think. So this has been Mark the Tech Guy saying if you like this game you might want to go check it out at the App Store.
And please rate, five stars, comment, and subscribe, everybody. Thanks for watching. Do you?